This is a tutorial on how to run Ubuntu, uh, which is a Linux, I think almost any Linux operating system, on your PC. Um, two things you need to download. Um, one will take a long time, the other hopefully not. If you go to Google, just search Ubuntu, U-B-U-N-T-U, and go to their website. There'll be a link in the sidebar. Ubuntu.com Okay, this is taking forever. Here we go. Ubuntu.com a new edition. Um, this may be different each time. It should be very similar. Oh, netbook. Um, these mini laptops and you want a fast operating system, download um, Ubuntu 9.04, the latest version. And you might in the United States. Another that you need to get is go to Google and you can type in called Sun Virtual Box. There'll be a link to this website also program that actually runs the operating system on your um, Windows computer. I'm not sure about Macs if this works for them too. Uh, yes, it runs on Macs also. Um, so. Um, I already have it downloaded, you just go to download. Um, unless you want to rewrite it or something, just download uh, for Windows or for OS X. OS just means the computer that you're going to run the other OS on. OS is operating system. Um, so once these two downloads are done, I have mine right here. So I'm Sun XVM Virtual Box. And I will set up a new one. For you guys just to watch. So, one. Okay. Just waiting. Okay, here. This is it. It launches. And this acts like a separate computer built into yours. Mm, okay. Uh, I'm just going to ignore this. And I'll just show you. I already have but I'll do a new one. So you go to new. And once the Ubuntu file is downloaded, I'll find this. So you want to name it. I'll just name mine virtual PC. Running Windows. And... I'm gonna put in this stuff. And now you say how much memory it wants to get. 512 MB, the random memory depending you have. Um, recommended pretty well. So you're gonna um, create a new hard disk. Okay, you're gonna separate uh, of the hard drive in your computer. Um, it, it, so this. Ubuntu or Linux operating system can use it. So we're gonna die altering and you wanna just leave it at twenty gigabytes, that's very good. Okay, and finish. Okay, you see. So what we wanna do is start it. Okay, what this means is um, it automatically uses the keyboard in here. And would, um, what you want to do is CD, DVD, ROM, it should be what it's downloaded, and file. File is that thing that you downloaded from Ubuntu.com. 
Um, so let's add one. Down here, should be here somewhere. Well, once you find it, you open it and then you select next. Let me find that again. I'll show you also how to start up. Um, I only have experience with Ubuntu. I'm not sure how um, any other Linux version would work, but you just try it out. They should be very similar. Um, what I need to find is that once you click in this, um, once you click in this box when using the operating system, the mouse can't move out. And what you do there, it says it down here, is right control. Do not know where it is. Um, let's see, maybe in here. There, like something like that. And we're gonna select it. Select. Okay. And then it should launch it. This is just like a mini screen that you have. Um, and it should be able to use your CD drive, your floppy disk drive, if you still, I don't know, have that. should recognize SD cards. And that reset, which means it'll relaunch the turn it back on, basically. And so here it is. Um, I'm going to do to select your language. You can use the mouse buttons, which are easy, and just install Ubuntu. The only trouble I had is installing it. That maybe, let me see if I can get it to work under this. Um, but after that, it worked amazingly. See, okay, this is it. It's installing it right now. You will set up, it's, Ubuntu is very different. You may want to look up on um, how to use it. It should be very simple. If you're good with your, if you know how to use a computer, you should know how to function with this. If you've been on a Mac, it's very similar to a Mac. It's sort of a blend of Mac and PC. Um, you set up a password. Uh, you can do simple Word and uh, the documents and PDFs. Uh, not P yeah, I think PDFs too. Um, video editing. It's it's and it's all open source. So mm, I think everything is free, or almost everything is free. Just takes a while to install. Follow the instructions. Um, you want to go through. Um, if you ever need any help, just um, comment or send me a message, and I'll be glad. Um, okay, if you ever hit X, you always want to power down the off machine, and it stops it. Please subscribe and check back um, for more info. Some more videos up about iPhones, iPods, and computers. Thank you, and come back.